President Obama visited an area with one of the country's highest unemployment rates today to announce a major investment in clean energy cars. Speaking in Elkhart County, Indiana, he unveiled $2.4 billion in grants from the stimulus package, money to create advanced batteries and electric vehicles and tens of thousands of jobs. Far from Indiana, there are huge reserves of the main ingredient needed to power that next generation of batteries. So ABC's Jeffrey Kaufman traveled to Bolivia for tonight's Closer Look. Under this vast sea of blinding white, the largest salt flats in the world may be the key to a greener planet. Right now, the only people you find on the remote Uyuni flats are desperately poor salt gatherers. But there is something much more valuable here, lithium, more than half of the world's known reserves. You've heard of the new generation of electric cars that will soon be on the market? They will run on lithium batteries. There's no way that's going to be supplied without accessing Bolivia's reserves. So Bolivia has the potential to be the Saudi Arabia of lithium. The lithium battery is far lighter, more durable, and holds a charge much longer than any other. They've figured out the science, but as the auto industry looks towards the electric car, the challenge is finding a supply, which is why the world is now looking here at the salt flats of Bolivia. And so in one of the most remote places on Earth, Bolivia has begun building what they hope will ultimately be the largest lithium extraction plant in the world. It's like a, a lake, a lake uh, uh, under, under the salt. Belgian scientist Guillermo Rolens is technical advisor to the Bolivian government. Where do you actually find the lithium in here? Is, is it in this salt crust here? No, not at all. It, this is just uh, salt, uh, like table salt. The lithium is in the brine. In, in, this, in liquid, this water here? In this water. This water is saturated in, uh, in so different salts, and one of them is uh, lithium. Extracting the lithium is remarkably simple. Build huge evaporation ponds and let the hot sun separate the lithium from the salts. It could bring riches to Bolivia, but they have heard that here before with silver, gas, oil. Yet this remains the poorest country in South America. Uh, it's different this time, says the plant manager. These profits will stay in the country. If Bolivia can make this work, this vast sea of white could offer this poor country a richer future and the planet a greener future. Jeffrey Kaufman, ABC News, Uyuni, Bolivia.